After the defeat against Brighton in the second round, Manchester United has revealed too many issues that need to be addressed. The leadership cannot sit idly by watching the home team continue to bring such disappointment. Immediately, the fifth new signing in this summer's transfer window has emerged, and it is Manuel Ugarte, a name that many fans have been waiting for to reinforce the midfield of the Manchester Red Devils. This will be a very quality addition to somewhat remedy the team's weaknesses. The question is whether the Uruguayan player will be able to participate in the match against Liverpool, as he has ensured his fitness after the training process over the past time. But it's not just Manuel Ugarte, Manchester United will also have a strong army ready to welcome their arch-rival at 22 this Sunday. Let's see what forces coach Eric Ten Hag will have at his disposal ahead of the English derby. After the opening match against Fulham, coach Eric Ten Hag breathed a sigh of relief as there were no injuries. Only Harry Maguire's situation was somewhat concerning. But he also appeared in the starting lineup against Brighton last Saturday. However, after the defeat at the Amex, many newspapers in the foggy country reported that Mason Mount suffered an injury and was forced to leave the field at the beginning of the second half to make way for new signing Joshua Xerxy. With his notoriously unstable physical condition, the English midfielder may have to sit out in the English derby this Sunday, and the number 11 striker will have his first start in the Red Devils jersey. It's time for the former Ajax captain to immediately eliminate false number 9 formation to bring a more balanced lineup. If the midfield is waiting for new signing Manuel Ugarte, then in the attack, will Marcus Rashford and Ahmad Diallo still start, or will there be any surprises from Ten Hag? But with the experience of following Manchester United under the reign of the 54-year-old coach, it is likely that he will maintain this choice before looking forward to a breakthrough from Alejandro Garnacho. Overall, until Rasmus Heiland returns at the end of September, there won't be any major changes in the striker personnel. And now is the time for the current elements prove their worth. Otherwise, the new leadership can completely eliminate them anytime. Finally, the defense. Although they made many serious mistakes in the loss to Brighton, Overall, the back four will not have many adjustments. Will coach Eric Ten Hag dare to place his trust in new signing Mathis De Ligt in this extremely important match, or will it continue to be Harry Maguire? Finally, let's try to predict the 11 names that will feature in Manchester United's starting lineup in the English Derby at 22 this Sunday. Goalkeeper, Andre Onana. The Cameroonian goalkeeper is still the number one goalkeeper in Manchester United's lineup. Although he has received a lot of criticism after the two goals he conceded from Brighton, in reality, fault was due to the defensive system that put Andre Onana in a passive position. Therefore, fans are looking forward to the 1996-born star performing excellently against Liverpool's high-form attack, as he did last season. A promising, very busy day for the 28-year-old goalkeeper. Right back, Nusser Mazraoui. The new Moroccan signing has had the best possible start in his new jersey as he excellently completed his task in the first two matches of the season, as well as having an excellent assist to help Ahmad Diallo score, an image we haven't often seen from Juan Bisaka in the past five years. In addition, the energy of the 26-year-old star is also very impressive as he goes up and down smoothly and frequently tucks inside to increase the number of players for pressing. Nusser Mazraoui's next challenge is the Premier League's top winger, Luis Diaz. The Colombian international is in very high form and promises to bring a lot of difficulties for the home team's defense. Left back, Diogo Dalot. With Luke Shaw not returning until round four, Diogo Dalot will still be the name playing in the left corridor, the Manchester Red Devils. This is also not an unfamiliar role for the Portuguese player as he once took on at Manchester United last season. But the effectiveness cannot be optimal because an inverted fullback will find it very difficult to develop the usual overlapping combination play. Therefore, before waiting for the prime version of Luke Shaw to return, the Portuguese star will still be the most reliable lock and he has also tried very hard in the two matches that have passed. The challenge named Mohamed Salah this Sunday will be extremely difficult. Centre-backs, 
Sandro Martinez, and Harry Maguire. The Argentine centre-back is an extremely important factor in Manchester United's play, although in reality his performance has not really exploded as strongly as expected. However, with his bravery and tenacity, Lissandro will play an extremely important role in the English derby. Two years ago, it was the Butcher who made Salah completely powerless. The fans expect that the 1998-born boy will continue to shine to help the Red Devils stand firm against the opponent's strength, while finding joy again after the defeat in the second round at the Amex Stadium. Pairing with Lissandro Martinez is likely to still be Harry Maguire. Although he made a mistake in the first goal against the Seagulls, if evaluated objectively, former Leicester City star still performed quite well. However, his physical condition is still not 100%, so in the final stage of the match, new signing Mathis de Ligt was used. Many fans are still looking forward to the Dutch centre-back starting, but with the usual caution of coach Eric Ten Hag, he will not risk his favourite student. Because if he doesn't play well in the English derby, disaster could strike immediately. Central midfield. Manuel Ugarte. This could be the most anticipated name this Sunday. Uruguayan midfielder is racing against time to be ready for the match against Liverpool. In the past two matches of the season, although Casemiro has improved his form somewhat, he no longer maintains a good enough condition to operate continuously. So the appearance of Manuel Ugarte will bring new life to the Old Trafford team. 2001-born star has also trained with Paris Saint-Germain recently, and he will not be afraid of fitness issues. Hopefully we will see a new face of the Red Devils this Sunday. Central midfield. Kabi Mainu. The young English talent is the biggest hope in the midfield of the Old Trafford team in this new season. However, the midfielder who grew up from the Carrington training ground is somewhat overloaded when he has to shoulder some of the work is senior Casemiro. In the final minutes of the match against Brighton, we saw how number 37 was out of breath. And if a solution is not quickly found, Manchester United will exhaust the most promising young star in their lineup. With new signing Manuel Ugarte, coach Eric Ten Hag will have a plan to reduce the load on Kabi and help him upgrade his version further in the future. Central midfield. Bruno Fernandes. In the recent match against Brighton, Bruno was surprised by coach Eric Ten Hag's substitution decision when he took off number 8 in a context where the home team really needed a goal. Although he no longer missed opportunities like in the match against Fulham, overall Bruno Fernandes had a lot of difficulties when asked to play in the role of a false 9. Therefore, the Dutch strategist needs to change if he wants the whole team's play to improve. After all, Manchester United still needs Bruno Fernandes at his best version, and this will not change throughout the season. Hopefully, with being returned to his familiar role, Captain will show his value at the right time. Right forward. Ahmad Diallo. The young Ivorian talent has shown very rapid progress since the end of last season, but there are still weaknesses in physical condition along with decisiveness in the home team's attacks. Although he had a poor first half against Brighton, Antony quickly returned and had an extremely meaningful goal dedicated to his mother. Hopefully, with the lessons learned after the first two matches, the 2002-born talent will perform very well against Liverpool, an opponent he had scored a decisive goal against half a year ago in the FA Cup quarterfinals. Left forward, Alejandro Garnacho, with Marcus Rashford continuously disappointing in the two matches that have passed, it is likely that the former Ajax captain will have a change in the starting lineup in the attack and the name chosen is Alejandro Garnacho. Bad luck perhaps has not let go of the Argentine star after the unbelievable miss against Fulham. He continued to receive bad luck when his tap-in into the goal accidentally hit Joshua Xerxes in an offside position, losing the opportunity to have his first goal of the season. Hopefully number 17 will bring a fresh breeze to the Red Devils' attack and help the home team improve, because the chances to score against Liverpool will not be many. Striker, Joshua Xerxes. The new signing from Bologna had the most impressive debut in Manchester United's jersey with the only goal bringing three points for the home team. 
The 2001 born striker has shown the qualities that fans have always been waiting for from him. That is actively dropping deep, connect with teammates, and most importantly, sniffing out space to deliver the finishing blow. Unfortunately, he was involved in the offside call after Garnacho's shot in the match against Brighton. If that had been a goal for Manchester United, the outcome of the match would have been completely different. But with his first start in the New Jersey, Joshua Xerxy promises to be a surprise option for Liverpool in the English Derby this weekend. Above are the 11 names that we predict could start based on the current force situation. With no notable information about the player's health, the Old Trafford team will temporarily not worry about the force situation. And the most important thing lies in how Ten Hag will arrange personnel. Will it still be a play with a false nine like against Brighton and Fulham, or will it return to the familiar 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1 formation? A tight match? Maintaining focus in defense and making good use of opportunities is the key for Manchester United to seek good results in the English Derby, as the Red Devils did last season. Hopefully, Man United will have a good performance this Sunday to find joy again, as well as welcome new signing Manuel Ugarte. Thank you for tuning into VR360. We hope you enjoyed our latest updates and insights on all things Manchester United. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest news, match analysis and exclusive content. Join our community of passionate Red Devils fans and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support helps us bring you the best coverage of our beloved team. Until next time, stay united and keep the red flag flying high.